Chelsea is buying a Barcelona superstar, Ronaldo broke the club's plans to sign a top football player and a top coach, and the transfer market continues to burn with high-profile transfers. We are talking about this and many other things today. This is a dose of football and a hot selection of the most interesting news for this hour. Charge your royal like and we will start, but I wish you a pleasant appetite and a pleasant viewing. Manchester United fans continue to protest against the Seven Glazers. Recently, a campaign was organized in honor of the release of a new uniform. The posters this time had the words Glazer out, we want our club back and don't feed greed, Glazers, go away. According to Global Finance, the sale of new to the Qataris is postponed due to disagreements in the Glazer family. Not all of the five co-owners approve of the deal by Sheikh Jazm bin Hamad Al Thani. The Blazers can't agree on the price. At the same time, now the owners are practically not considering the option of selling the club to Jim Redcliffe. As Bloomberg financial columnist David Heller said, Redcliffe's proposal is doomed to failure because it does not suit the minority shareholders of the Red Devils. Heller stated, in fact, I was told that Redcliffe's offer is dead. Apparently, there are two options left in the dry balance for the next season either the Glazers remain at the helm, or Sheikh Jasm wins. And there's no need to even think about which option 99% of MU fans prefer. Yesterday turned out to be rich in transfers of centre-backs. Bayern announced the transfer of Kamenge from Napoli. Munich paid compensation from the player in the amount of 50 million euros. And the Reds also sold Luke Hernandez to PSG. The Bavarians were waiting for the Prince to transfer money for Luca in order to redeem Kim. MC Sports Fabrice Hawkins reports that Hernandez will sign a three-year contract with an option to extend for another season. The transfer confirmed Roman's fabrication. The Frenchman cost PSG 47 million euros. The clubs of the Premier League also gave heat. Aston Villa has agreed the transfer of Pau Torres from Weller Real for £35 million, said Z.A. Garden. Weller Real agreed to release Toros for a much smaller amount than provided as compensation. All because of financial problems. And London Arsenal have made progress on a deal for Urian Timber. According to Yes and The Telegraph, the Gunners have agreed with Ajax on the transfer of the centre-back for €42 million Euros plus five bonuses. The lack of depth of the squad, including in the position of central defender, led to the fact that Arsenal flew past the championship, and now the Gunners are working on mistakes. Chelsea and Manchester United's negotiations on Mason Mount almost broke down. Chelsea called the price that the Red Devils considered too high, and besides, the MU did not want to pull off major deals before the sale of the club. But with sweat and blood, the parties came to an agreement. Fabrizio Romana and Sky Sports have announced the transfer of Mount to United. Pancunians will pay £55 million for the midfielder, another five lambs are provided as bonuses. Mason will sign a five-year contract with the possibility of an extension for another year. Next week, the Englishman will undergo a medical examination, after which the transfer will be officially announced, and the Clithava will amount to £250,000 a week, and with bonuses it will reach 300. At Chelsea, Mason was not ready to pay so much, which is why it was not possible to sign a new contract with the player. Barcelona has a tense atmosphere in the club's dressing room, the reason for this is the policy of the leadership. Ferran Torres and Su Fadi refuse to leave the team and try their best to keep their residence permit. Fatty is even close to breaking the contract with the world-famous agent George Mendish. The agent insists on leaving the block grant, and Fatty believes that he will be able to gain a foothold in the foundation of the club despite the circumstances. Calnational writes that not all teammates approve of Fatty Torres' desire to stay in Barcelona. Some are afraid that the management may sell them to the Ferran station if the wingers fail to get rid of. Yuna Gavi is unhappy with the bosses of Rana's blog, although don't worry about a possible sale. Gavi did not like the transfer of LC and Gandigan. Spain believes that Xavi will use the Pedrida Gandigan combination in midfield, and therefore Gavi is worried about a sharp drop in playing time. Although recently there have been rumors about the departure of Franco Kais in Saudi Arabia, well, or the Premier League, and about the transfer of Frankie de Jong to Manchester United. And something like that will surely have a positive effect on Gavi's playing time. Nevertheless, the footballer is thinking about a transfer. Spanish media write that Chelsea and London are interested in the player. Unexpected news from Saudi Arabia. According to Fabrizio Romana, Roberto Firmina is moving to Al Ali as a free agent. The Brazilian has agreed a contract with the club until 2026 year. The attackers only have to undergo a medical examination, after which the transfer will be officially announced. Earlier, Al Ali signed Edward Mindy. Saudi Al Hela Al is trying to invite Mark Verratti, Lequip writes. Representatives of the Middle East club arrived in Paris, hoping to negotiate a transition. Recently, Verratti has repeatedly talked about a possible transfer and part of the club's management agreed to sell him. The starry scattering of Saudi Arabia's havocs will also be replenished by Marcelo Brozovic. Barcelona refused the player because of financial problems. Al Nasser raised the offer. 
According to Roman, Ronaldo's club satisfied the demands of the Croatian midfielder. For three years in the East, Marcellus will receive 100 million euros. The new coach of Ambrosovic will be the ex-coach of Botafogo Luis Castro. According to reports, the Portuguese coach will sign a 2 plus 1 contract with the Saudi club. Cristiano Ronaldo personally contacted his compatriot to see him lead the team. Let's see if Krish made the wrong choice. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, for subscribing to the channel. It was your daily dose of football.